So, we are in the last method of measuring secular train that is least square method. So, as you all know, that is the mathematical me method of measuring train, isn't it? So, here a mathematical equation will be fitted to a given time series. So, here are the three types of least square methods. First one is linear, second one is quadratic and the last one is exponential or logarithmic. So, each method will have its own equation using which we will be solving the problem. So, here instead of explaining the uh, equation for better understanding, I will explain it while solving the problem itself. Okay. So, let us go for the first problem on linear equation method. So, now in this problem, first you should write down the equations. So, these equations you should always keep in mind. So, y is equal to a plus bx, summation y is equal to na plus b summation x, summation xy is equal to a summation x plus b summation x square. These are the three equations, summation equation 2 and equation 3. Okay, so now according to the equations we have to find out the values. So, here what in all values we need y y is nothing but production and summation uh, sorry summation y is needed summation y is again same thing n is number of years and summation x is we have to calculate now. So, to calculate summation x we have to calculate x, isn't it? So, x, first column, second, summation x, y is needed, isn't it? So, summation x, y and what else is required? Summation x square, isn't it? So, first, x is done, x square and the last column is summation x, y, that is x, y. And the last column will be trend values. Okay. So now, <clears throat> according to the equation, you should always remember that summation x should be 0. Okay. Summation x should be 0. So first you should prove that summation x is 0. Its answer should be 0, isn't it? So how to make it 0 now? So now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 items are there. Middle one will be 0. Okay. After 0, everything will be 1. Positive, isn't it? Plus 1, 2, 3. And before 0, it will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Now if you see, 1, 1 cancel, 2, 2 cancel, positive, negative plus minus cancel and uh, summation x will be 0. Okay. So, this is how it is done. So, now for example, since odd numbers are there, we could start with 0, isn't it? But, when even numbers are there, see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, only 4 years are given, how to calculate? We will start with 1, plus 1, minus 1, we are starting with odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, like that it goes. So, here plus 1, plus 3, minus 1, minus 3. Cancel, 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 and x will be summation x will be 0. Okay, so same way here we calculated summation x now. Our next step will be x square. x square is nothing but 3 into 3. Answer will be 9. 2 into 2, it will be 4. Again, 1, 0. 1, 4 and 9 and our summation x square is 28 and the next column is xy, x into y, 12 into minus 3 that is minus 36, minus 20, minus 14, 0, here it is 13, 30 and 
13 into uh, 16 into 3 it is 48 so when you total it will be 21 okay so we calculated xy sum, uh, x square and x isn't it now we will apply this to our equations now we have to calculate trend values isn't it trend value will be y cap okay so right equation for y cap that is trend value is a plus bx we got the value of x isn't it but we don't know the value of a and b do you know that no so first we have to find out a and b so now here equation 1 2 and 3 will be simplified to calculate the value of a and b now for example take equation 2 this one so when you simplify equation 2 see for example summation y is equal to n a plus b summation x isn't it so when you simplify summation y means n is n a will be there as it is and here it is summation y so b we don't know let it be as it is summation x we know that is 0 any number that you multiply with 0 will be 0 isn't it so after second round simplification we will arrive at the formula that is a is equal to summation y divided by n so this is our formula to calculate the value of a okay so same way next to calculate the value of b let us use the for equation 3 okay so this is equation a is done question uh, we got the value of a next same way we will calculate the value of b so here summation x y summation x y is equal to a summation x plus b summation x square isn't it so now here summation x is there with a so whatever number you are multiply, multiplying with the 0 will be 0 isn't it so summation x y so is equal to b summation x square now what will remain b is equal to summation x y divided by summation x square so this is our formula now to calculate the value of b okay so same way let us calculate the value of a and b now okay so to calculate the value of a a is equal to summation y what is our summation y now it is a total of production that is 91 so 91 divided by n n is number of years 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 isn't it so 91 divided by 7 is 91 divided by 7 is 13 so our a will be 13 so same way let us calculate b now b is equal to summation xy xy's total is 21 divided by summation x square x square's total is 28 28 so the value will be 21 divided by 28 is 0 0.7 5 0.75 is our b now so we got the value of a and b now we will be applying this to the equation of y cap okay that is a plus bx a plus bx isn't it so this will be our trend value so here in a, in a place of x for each year we will be taking its x for example now y cap of uh, 2002 will be a is value we already calculated 13 meters so 13 plus b is value we already calculated it is 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 bx means b into x isn't it so x 
for the year 2002, x will be minus 3, isn't it? So we will be calculating it like that. 13 plus 0 0.75 into 3. So according to the Bodmas rule, first we have to multiply this 0 0.75 into 3, that is 2.25. Since it is minus, our answer also will be minus 2.5 2.25 so 13 plus minus will be minus so 13 minus 2.25 will be 10.75 so that will be our trend value for 2002 10.75 same way for 2003 our trend value will be a and B will be same. 13 plus 0 0.75 into minus 2. And our answer will be 11.5. Same with the next one it is. 13 plus 0 0.75 into minus 1. The answer will be 12.25. So same with calculate the remaining. So we are done with the calculation of trend values for the given set of years. So in the question we are also asked to calculate the estimated production for 2011. But 2011's data is not given to us, isn't it? Production and all. We are asked to calculate that, isn't it? So how to cal calculate that now? So now, if you see here, for 2008, it x is 3. For 2000, same way, if you continue, 2009, it will be 4. 2010, it will be 5. And 2011, it will be 6. Isn't it? So, with the same equation, y cap, we will be calculating for the year 2011 also. So, now, for 2011, y cap is equal to a plus bx that is a is 13 plus b is 0 0.75 and x for 2011 if you continue it will be 6 so 13 plus 0 0.75 into 6 and uh, our last answer will be 17 point 5,000 quintals. So that's it with the straight line method. For any given, of num uh, given number of years, first you have to calculate x, x square, x, y. Okay. So then simplifying the formula, calculating a and b, after that, applying this A and B to all the trend values, we are calculating that. And at the last, as a continuation in the question, we are also we were also calculated uh, asked to calculate for 2011. So X we will continue till 2011, and it will be six. So simplifying the equation. So that's it with the straight line method. So we are done with the first method of least square method, least square that is linear. Now let us start with the quadratic method. Quadratic equation is here. Y is equal to a plus bx plus c x square. So here in linear for any given set of question you can solve using the method which I already explained. The method will not change for any method, any question only. The numbers will vary. Okay.